I got these ground steaks from Home Depot. They measure at one by two. I did end up cutting them down a little bit shorter and I did cut them at all different dimensions. So I'll be applying some apple barrel acrylic paint in the color Burnt Umber. And I just applied this all throughout the steak, in the front, on the sides, and the top and the bottom. You wanna allow this to completely dry before moving on. Once dry, now I'm going to be using some petroleum jelly. You wanna just put a generous amount on a paintbrush or a chippy brush. And I just put this down on random spots of the steak. Now I'm using some folk art chalk paint in the color white. And I just began applying this paint all throughout the steaks as well. Again, you want to just make sure that you do the front, sides, the top, and the bottom. And then you want to allow those to completely dry. And then I'm just grabbing a scraper tool. I found this at Dollar Tree. And I just begin scraping that top coat. But this is not taking off all of that white chalk paint. It's only taking off where you placed that petroleum jelly down, leaving you with this chippy finish look. I then got these wooden squares from Hobby Lobby and I'll be using two of them. So I just use that burnt umber again. And for this, I made sure that I covered the entire surface. So I did the front, sides, and the back. Allow those to dry and then using some one gallon paint stir sticks, I'm also applying some of that burnt umber acrylic paints. Allow those to completely dry, and now I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Moss to go over all of these surfaces. So I did use the same chippy finish method, so I placed down some petroleum jelly first, and then I just started applying this Moss colored chalk paint. I didn't show myself doing this again because I already did this previously. So I just made sure that I covered the front side and the back side of those wooden squares. Put those aside to let them dry and now we're going to assemble those stakes all together. So I'm just placing them face side down, making sure they're all aligned. And then I am just using a, another cut up one gallon paint stir stick applying some adhesive glue or you could use E6000 with a mixture of hot glue. So I placed one paint stick on the top and then one at the bottom. And just look at how awesome this came out. I just love it. I then got this Fresh Flower Market sign from Dollar Tree. So using those wooden squares, I'm putting down some more adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue on the sides of that flower sign and I'm just placing those wooden squares where I had placed down the glue, allow that to completely dry, and then with three more paint stir sticks, again I just used that adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just glued those all down. And then you want to let this dry for about 25 to 30 minutes. And now you have yourself this palette box. So let's go ahead and grab that fence. And I'm just going to be placing that palette box right on top. Again, I'll be holding this all together with that adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue. Once I had it placed on, I did hold everything up just to make sure that everything was completely even. This would be something so gorgeous to place outside on your front porch. Just spray it down with some polyurethane or polycrylic. I just put some terracotta pots inside. I will add some floral later. But I just loved creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much and have a good day. Bye.